What's up, those geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome to Sir Proker Saturday. If you're not very quite sure what Sir Proker Saturday is, well then, let me just fill you in real quick. It's the one day of the week where I take any game with really no storyline to it whatsoever and play it, such as the game we are playing today, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This is a random team I put together. I just click random and boom, we got it. Our team, of course, is Felicia, Firebrand, and Doctor Strange. And I believe the first team we're taking on is Doctor Strange, Super Scroll, and Amarashtra. I didn't really have to, um, didn't really have to do that. But uh, we are actually playing through Doctor Strange today because um, that's who we ended up beating Galactus with. By the way, um, just to fill you guys in, I'm not too good with these people. And not onto the added fact that um, it was a random team, so. <laughs> You know, random to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't really know what my assists are or anything like that. Excuse me, like, look at me. Just, oh, I'm going out to over repeatedly. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, but anyway, since we are doing Doctor Strange, we're gonna we're gonna learn some things about Mr. Strange real quick as we just took down Super Scroll. So first things first, if none of you knew this. Every superhero has a secret identity. Spider-Man's Peter Parker, Captain America, Steve Rogers. Well, Doctor Strange really doesn't have a secret identity. His real name is Stephen Strange. So, it's not really a secret identity because he is a doctor. All works out. He was created by Stan Lee and Steve Dick Ditko. If you're not sure who that is, Stan Lee's a writer. And if you don't know who Stan Lee is, then I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, I understand Steve Ditko, he's the, but he was the artist, of course. His first appearance was in the uh, Strange Tales, number 110, on the on July 1963. And, um... He debuted in the Silver Age of comics. And we're actually about to win this, I believe. He get the fuck out my town. That was pretty cool. Firebrand's pretty neat. He doesn't talk. He's got that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Nope. No matter how much I love you, I'm not going gee gee gee. Ah, I did it. <sighs> that didn't really make much sense. Uh, next fight is against Nemesis, Modok, and Firebrand. I like Modok a lot. But uh, anyway, he debuted in the Silver Age of Comics, which, um. Yeah, if you ask me that, I'm not going to be able to tell you off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I know what it is, but I'm off the top of my head. And a uh, funny thing about Doctor Strange is um, he actually shared the Strange Tales, which is the comic he was in, with the Human Torch. And if you don't know who the Human Torch is, he's part of the Fantastic Four. He's the one who lights on fire. If the word Human Torch does not aid you in the, the fire thing, then I advise you to get some help because that's something you shouldn't even you should know even if you're not a hero. But anyway, let's continue on. He, he, um, he was in that comic with him until around issue number 134, in the year of 1965 of the month of July. We're not going to do that ever again, by the way. That was weird. He also shared uh, the Strange Tales with Super Spy Nick Fury. You know, Samuel L. Jackson's character in The Avengers. I'm assuming you've all seen The Avengers. And if you haven't, go see The Avengers. Do it now. See The Avengers right now. Anyway. And he shared that series with him until issue number 168 in May of 1968. That's very strange how number 168 and then it was one uh, whatever. So um I don't know if I continue on because this next thing I'm gonna say is pretty long so actually we're gonna wait till we whoop that firebrand ass. Yeah look at that. Clawing him up. Oh 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 yep in the face. Took your eyes out. Everything. Suck it. Oh shit look at that butterfly. Yeah. Whoop to do. Wanted to do a snow Broadway about cats, but somebody beat me to it. I, uh, I feel like Alicia should sing because she's a singer. You know? Oh, I called her Alicia? Well, I meant Alicia. Oh, so in the next fight's against Morgan, Tron, and Zero. So, Doctor Strange was a, originally a selfish neurosurgeon, which is a medically specific specialty, excuse me, concerned with uh, the prevention of diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of disorders which affect any portion of the nervous systems, including the brain, spinal cord, 
peripheral nerves and extracranial cerebrovascular, I can't pronounce that word for the life of me, system. And if you guys don't know what it means now, don't ask me because I have no idea what the shit I just say. Thank Wikipedia for that definition. That shit's crazy. Yeah, I don't know what that means. And uh, basically, Doctor Strange, he only cared about his career until a car accident damaged his hand and it basically ended his ability to perform surgery. So then he became, des he became desperate and began to search for a way to restore his hands until he actually completed, completely exhausted all of his funds and became actually homeless. And he was able to locate a man known as the Ancient One who refused to help him actually due to his selfishness, but he did sense the good side of him, good side of Strange, and he um, attempted to bring it to the surface. But you know, eventually, you know, the Ancient One fails at bringing the good side out of Strange. But actually, it's, actually, it's Strange, Doctor Strange, who, um, who is able to show his good side when he discovers that the Ancient One disciple, Baron Mordo, who becomes uh, Doctor Strange's uh, main villain for quite a long time, is attempting to kill him. After um, Strange thwarts Mordo's plans, he is taught the mystic arts, and he himself becomes the Ancient One's new disciple. And uh, we're actually going to... Tron soon, so I'm not gonna continue on. So we, yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. Wait. Oh, we still have Morgan. Wow. Wow. I'm not good at Doctor Strange at all. Yep. Not at all. I hate Felicia's theme song. With a passion. What the hell? Why am I doing so bad? Oh my. There's one person. Who is this guy playing? He is so bad. I'm about to spank that ass. Yep. I'm about to spank that ass. Come here. You dirty little friggin'. Oh, you're fucked up. How you like them third degree burns? Ah! That's what he sounds like. He goes, ah! Fucking idiot. What's he say? What am I? Uh, oh, it's something for Morgan. It actually says, and then Anza Land, never heard of you. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. I never played Dolphin Strikers. Ooh, excuse me. Our next fight, I believe it is against Magneto, Akuma, and Beautiful Joe. Alright, so back to Doctor Strange, um, he is a master magician, and he was, yes, hear me out, nerds and geeks, was the holder of the title of Sorcerer Supreme for several years, I believe recently, or not maybe so recently, don't quote me, um, he looked for a heir, I believe it is, for the Sorcerer Supreme, which included such heroes like, or and villains, and villains, such heroes and villains like, uh, Scarlet Witch, and even Doctor Doom. But the title was eventually given to Brother Voodoo, who I believe now is called Dr. Voodoo. Makes sense. He draws his powers from several mystic entities, such as the, uh, the Vashanti and the... I'm gonna butcher, butcher this. Oh, ten cents. I know that's not right, but I don't know what it's called. Uh, I believe, actually, he uses the, the, the Vashanti in here, I believe. In this game, he can um he can use magic to achieve virtually any effect as he desires, such as uh, telepathy, telepathy, not telepathy, <laughs> fuck is telepathy, <laughs> energy blast, teleportation, astral projection, uh, to create materials such as food and water, and uh, so much more like bringing the dead back to life, shit like that. You know, Doctor Strange is just a straight up badass, I guess. Um. You know, I'm not going to continue on real quick because we're about to win this fight and what I'm going to say is a lot. Get the fuck out of my shit, beautiful Joe. I heard you like lasers up the ass, so I gave you one. My presence wasn't even required. Wong didn't get you. Oh, Joe, he came at you. He said Wong could have taken care of you. Wong! Actually, Wong's pretty much a badass, too. Faith is my sword, truth my shield, knowledge my armor. Get ready for the fight of your life. Our next battle is against Frank West, Senko, and Spencer. So more about Doctor Strange. Um, he's appeared in tons of animated shows. Um, he appeared in Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, 
X-Men the Animated Series, Spider-Man the Animated Series, and he was voiced by John Vernon, I believe that's how you pronounce it. The Incredible Hulk, uh, Maurice Lam Lamarche? I don't, like I said, don't get mad at me if I butcher these. And the, he was voiced by Maurice Lamarche in The Incredible Hulk. The Superhero Squad Show, he was voiced by Roger Rose. Ultimate Spider-Man, voiced by Jack Coleman, and actually has a live-action TV movie that premiered on September 6, 1978, and he was played by Peter Hooten. And in 1992, um, a live-action Doctor Strange film was actually planned, but um, the option expired before production could begin, and it was turned into Doctor Mordred, which and had nothing to do with Doctor Strange. So. There's an electricity thing. And also, an animated direct-to-DVD um, was released about Doctor Strange. And it's called Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. And it was released on August 14th, 2007. And um, a Doctor Strange movie has honestly, like a live-action version, has been planned many times. I mean, in the years of 1992, 2001, 2005, and 2010, there's always there's all been a Doctor Strange um, a movie planned. And I personally have not seen anything claiming if one is still being made or not. So we might get a Doctor Strange movie. We might not. Personally... I think that'd be a pretty badass. How come I can't take the... There we go. Fuck, he's a human and I'm having problems with him. You really did, didn't you? Oh, Frank, he said Wong could have taken care of you. Oh! I'm getting a phone call from me, Madre. She can wait. What if she was, like, in trouble and I just, like, ignored her? Why would I put that in my mind? It's horrible. Fuck. Now I'm gonna be thinking about that while I'm recording. Next person we're facing is uh, Wolverine, Taskmaster, and Hawkeye. So, um, Strange has also appeared in uh, many video games. Like, he's appeared in uh, The Amazing Spider-Man vs. Kingpin, um, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems. He's actually playable in Marvel Ultimate Alliance and was voiced by James Horan. He's a uh, Marvel Super Hero Squad Online, Marvel's Avengers Alliance, which is a Facebook game, and Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. Um, his ultimate version is mentioned in Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions at uh, Deadpool's level, I believe, um, in a commercial. And he appears in Senko's ending in the original Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and of course he's playable in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, obviously. And he is actually voiced by Rick, excuse me if you're watching this, Mr. Pascalone? Why not? Okay. Oh, fuck you, Taskmaster. You think you're a badass. Anyway, <clears throat> he's also, believe it or not, Doctor Strange has appeared in several, and I mean several, musical... We just died. To, uh, Wolverine. Anyway, he's appeared in several, uh type things. Let's, let's go with that. So he's actually appeared on three covers. Um, he's gone. He's been on Pink Floyd's um, album cover, A Saucer Full of Secrets, and two of Al Stewart's albums, uh, Past, Present, and Future, and um, Modern Time. He's mentioned in the song Sign the Line. Like I said, I know, I know some of these words I don't know how to pronounce. But uh, Sign the Line, and it's by Pink Floyd. Mambo Sun by T-Rex. Superbird by Country Joe and, and the Fish, Renaissance Ramp by Q-Tip, and Time for a Change by Peter Hamill. Q-Tip? Really? Okay, Inspect the Deck has referred to Strange in several of his songs, and he is the focus of the song Doctor Strange by Paul Rowland. Fucking Q-Tip? And that's really all the information I have for you with Doctor Strange, like... There's nothing else I can really give you. That's all the things that I at least found interesting about him. And uh, I also learned that there's an artist named Q-Tip. Yes, the little things you clean your ears out with. He named himself Q-Tip. What the fuck was going through his head? Anyway, uh, we get to fuck shit up as Felicia right now when we take on Wolverine. Watch him beat me. Watch him beat me. Oh, this is Taskmaster's song. Oh my god, he's going to beat me. Fuck me, really? Really? Oh, the the grease is gonna hit the pan. I don't know. About to fuck your day up, Taskmaster. 
Oh, fireball. Right to the skull face. Your face, that's a skull. Right to your fucking face. A fireball. Just boom. 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 That shit happened. That was, like, perfect, by the way. Like, Tasman was like, I'm gonna kick your ass. And I was like, Poof. fuck you. Pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Omotase? What the fuck does that mean? Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna... Oh. Yeah. You like that when I go around the back, don't you? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Fucking shit up with my little kitty cat claws. Oh, guess what? Get fucked. That was really good. Proud of myself. Yo. So now we get to face Galactus. And, um, Galactus is a jerk. And I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, shit! He said, get the fuck out and snap me back. He went boom. Boom. Oh, you can't see me doing it, actually, so I gotta stop doing it. Yep, we're fucking shit up as Firebrand right now. And, um, I'm not sure Galactus knows what to do. Like, he's just, I've beaten you so many times. You garbage, you garbage, bruh, you garbage. Oh, shit, he tried to hook me. I said, that's why you won't hook me. And Galactus tried to hook me. Fucking finger lasers. Yup, see, look at this. Just gonna duck. Oh, I'm sitting there, my my feet all crossed. And oh, fuck. You will prove this day. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I like. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. You will prove this day. Should have been talking trash. Should not have been talking trash, apparently. Die. Motherfucker! Yeah! Damn! You're so rude! Oh, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna die. It's all up to you, Doctor Strange. Spoiler report. Spoiler report! Guess what, bitch? Get fucked. What? I kicked him! Kicked him in his nipple! And he died! It was like, fuck your nipple! Oh, fuck! My nipple! What?! Fuck this game! I kicked him in the nipple, and he's like, "Oh, go my nipple, dude!" Shit! What? I kicked him in the nipple. <clears throat> I called you all here to discuss the matter of Galactus's invasion and how to prevent it from ever happening again. As only we would know how to. That's actually the end. Um. I believe that's Brother Voodoo, but you can't see me pointing at it, so I'm just going to say, I believe Brother Voodoo was in there, and Scarlet Witch, and some other people that I have no idea who they are. So if that's what you want to do, go ahead and comment in the little section and tell me who the hell's in that thing, because um, if you don't, I'm not going to know. But anyway, nerds and geeks, this is the end of this week's Sepulchre Saturday. I personally have hope you've all enjoyed it, and enjoyed the fact that we actually took Galactus down by kicking him in his nip. But that's nonetheless. If you have enjoyed it, nerds and geeks, please leave me a like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I have been OMG WTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, nerds and geeks. And I'll be seeing you next week when we play some more Sub Saturday games. So until then, you guys, have a great day.